Khloe Kardashian was always viewed as the fat sister or the ugly Kardashian. Over the years, she's always been compared to her sisters and picked apart about how she never looked like any of them. Growing up, she had blonde, curly hair, she was taller and chubbier than her sisters, and has once said in an interview that teachers would often say things like, Oh, you're Courtney and Kim's sister? Ouch, that's a little harsh. What's going on, guys? My name is Stella Nicole, and we are starting something different here on Before They Were Famous. We have decided to make a new segment on celebrity transformations, and since Michael doesn't know too much about this topic, he has decided to leave it in my hands. We will be discussing everything from amazing celebrity plastic surgeries, or not so good plastic surgeries, weight loss, diets, and so much more. I decided to kick off celebrity body transformations with none other than Khloe Kardashian herself. Since she has made waves with her incredible body transformation and has become one of the most fit of all the Kardashians. As always, I would love to hear from you guys, so let me know who you want me to talk about next by leaving your comments down below. Now let's get started. Chloe said that at one point in her life, being compared to her sisters made her begin to be the funny fat sister. Chloe openly shared that she almost let this take ownership of her, even though in reality she was not fat nor obese, but society would force her to believe that she was. It must have been tough growing up with sisters who look like Kim and Courtney. I can't imagine what it would be like always being compared to them all the time and being ridiculed on features that you were born with. Growing up in an environment like this can explain why Khloe is such a strong person and why she's earned the title of being the most relatable Kardashian. After looking at these photos of Khloe, I would have to say that people were extremely harsh with her. Her chubby cheeks, light eyes, and light hair I feel makes her stand out for the better, and she was really beautiful. Over the last three years, we have witnessed Khloe's incredible body transformation right before our eyes. But before we get into that, I would like to first discuss the few tweaks that she's done to her face. Khloe has been open about plastic surgery, saying, I think plastic surgery should be viewed almost like makeup because we're all putting on an effing mask basically every day anyway. When you dye your hair, you're changing who you are, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think people should get plastic surgery or fillers or lasers or whatever they want. That should be your own personal decision. Amen, sister. I would have to agree with her. I don't think there's anything wrong with tweaking something here and there that's made you feel insecure. I think anything done in moderation and tastefully is okay. Let's begin with Chloe's nose. As I've always been on the fence for a while now, if she's been under the knife, is a really good contour, or she had injectables to help transform her nose. When comparing her nose from the early 2000s to now, you can see a dramatic difference, especially when looking at her new posts on her Instagram. Page. You can see early on her nose was crooked and wire when comparing it to now. It seems to have slimmed down and have straightened out. Chloe denies any cosmetic surgery, and her makeup artist Joyce Bonelli has taken credit for her contouring skills, saying that she's given Chloe the best nose job over the last eight years. Uh, I know about the power of makeup, but how can someone thin on her nose and straighten it out with just some concealer and powder? Seems a little fishy to me. But if this is something that can be done, please, Joyce, let me in on your secret because Chloe's nose is looking pretty good. Chloe could have also gotten injectables at the bridge of her nose, which would create the illusion of a straighter and thinner nose. This is a non surgical as well and could definitely help with the contouring process. Chloe could very well be another girl who just loves her face tune. You know, the app that probably every girl on the planet, including myself, uses, and has the ability to totally change the way our faces look. Chloe could very well be using the app. It's definitely a cheaper and more low key way of getting a nose job. And she very well could have baked her face or an overdone it with the app. What are your thoughts on her nose? Moving on with the rest of her face, it's obvious she's done her lips. Although just until recently, her lips have gone a lot larger than they have been over the years. I have to say, they look a lot better than they used to back in 2016 when she had gotten them done. They're extremely lumpy and look super botched. But when comparing to this picture, although they're drastically bigger, they do look a lot better. Chloe has lost over 40 pounds, which can explain how her face has slimmed down, but when looking closely, it makes you want to question what else she's done. The overall shape of her face has changed, from round to more oval. This can be done by micro liposuction of the face, specifically near the jawline. There's also Kybella injectables, which is non surgical, and after a series of treatments, is used to improve the appearance and profile of the fat under the chin, aka the double chin. I'm not sure which route she took, but I think it's safe to say Chloe definitely went with the one of these routes. Also, Chloe's eyebrows and forehead appear more relaxed, which is most likely from Botox, and she also got filler in her cheeks to give herself a lift and to push out her cheekbones. Overall, I'm loving her new look. Even though Chloe didn't need it, the small tweaks here and there have really helped her come into her own. And I'm also a really huge fan of the blonde hair. Now, let's talk about how Chloe went from this 
to this. According to Chloe, while filming Keeping Up with the Kardashians, her mom and sisters told her to lose weight because it was hurting the family brand. Although she knew it was the business side talking, it was still hurtful. But the harsh criticism from her family wasn't the cause of Chloe's body transformation. It was her divorce to Lamar Odom in 2013 that pushed Chloe into a fitness frenzy. Chloe started working out during her divorce as it was her outlet for her emotions. Not only was working out therapeutic, but she started losing weight. And once she began to see definition in her body, she decided to stay committed to a healthier lifestyle. She states, Never would I ever consider myself fat, but I would consider myself unhealthy mentally and physically and not knowing my true value, mind, body and soul. For me, my transformation journey started from within. I need to heal myself from the inside out. Once I started putting myself first, everything started falling into place. We can see her body transformations over the years, but Chloe did face scrutiny from the public when comments were flooding the internet that Chloe had plastic surgery, which resulted in her drastic weight loss. Chloe was quick to shut these rumors down by addressing her haters not to discredit her hard work and dedication, and to not hate on her just because you, the public, couldn't commit to what she does. Chloe has also been questioned about her butt. Which accusations of implants, Chloe fired back at haters by saying, Sorry to disappoint, I've always had an ass. I know it's more fun to believe it's not real. Kind of a compliment since I killed myself in the gym. I'm gonna have to take Chloe's side on this one. You can tell from her older pictures that she's always had a curvy figure and always had a butt. But with her losing inches off her waist and hitting those weights, it's easy to believe that she's au naturel. Good for you, girl. I'm super jealous. I'm still working so hard to have a quarter of what you have. I can understand how people may jump to conclusions about Chloe's new body, but I think everyone is forgetting that Chloe is rich and with money comes convenience. She has a round the clock nutritionist and a trainer at her disposal. With Chloe's dedication, it's no wonder she's able to achieve her goals. Let's face it, people, if we had everything she had, we would also have no excuse to look anything less than perfect. Chloe not only credits her new body to working out, but to a healthy eating as well. She explains to Health Magazine that she started with the baby steps on her weight loss journey. She cut out sodas, then went dairy free for two weeks, and that's when she lost 11 pounds. Chloe, being a huge cheese lover, found that cutting dairy was the most challenging part, but in order for her to lose weight quickly, dairy free was the way to go. Chloe is certainly right about the dairy free diet. I personally cut dairy out two years ago, and the results have been amazing. I do miss my Parmesan cheese though. Back in summer 2017, her nutritionist revealed that Chloe was eating seven meals a day to stay trim. Her diet consists of being free of dairy, soy products, juice, dried fruit, and fizzy drinks. Chloe's day on a plate is as follows. For breakfast, she would have a protein rolled slender blend shake made with one tablespoon of almond butter and fresh fruit blended with water and ice and a piece of fruit. For lunch, she would have a four ounce chicken breast with vegetables and salad that's high in iron, like beetroot and spinach. A cup of vegetables like celery or tomato, served with 12 almonds. A cup of celery or tomatoes with one egg. For dinner, a fatty fish served with eight ounces of vegetables and a salad and a piece of fruit, and she would drink five liters of water a day. Chloe super dedicates her diet and doesn't allow herself a full cheat day, but just one cheat meal every week. This could be a pizza, slice of cake for dessert, or a pasta dinner, depending on her cravings. If she drinks booze, Chloe will limit herself to one or two glasses while she never eats carbs after 3 p.m. Now that's commitment. It's no wonder how her waist is so tiny. I just can't stay away from pizza and pasta, but hey, that must be the Italian in me. Chloe Kardashian, now six months pregnant, isn't letting her baby bump get in the way of her fitness journey, as she's committed to staying healthy healthy and fit during her pregnancy. She reveals that being pregnant is a whole different type of self care. She still exercises to maintain sanity but her workouts are nowhere as intense as they once were. Chloe also mentions that she eats differently and despite her cravings, she wants to ensure that her baby receives the proper nutrients. As for the rest of this fitness journey, well, we'll have to catch up with Chloe after she has the baby and find out what her secrets are to shedding that baby weight. Until next time, this is Celebrity Body Transformations and this is a new series we have cooked up for you guys. Here are two more videos for you to check out. Let me know who you. Th oh my god! Why? <laughs> Can we just add that in? Just let me continue? I don't even care. Why does that have to be perfect? I'm not perfect. I f up all the time. As for the rest of this fitness journey, well, we'll have to catch up with Chloe after she has the baby and find out what her secrets are to shutting that. <laughs> <laughs>